Okay, I just had a terrorizing experience. Everything turned out to be okay, but I was coming home and pulled in, as I was pulling into my driveway, my neighbor's house across the street, I saw a body laying on the ground next to her carport door. And that's all I seen. I was pulling into my driveway, I seen the body. In front of me there's a a delivery truck with a guy unloading a refrigerator and my next door neighbor's car was parked on the street but her car across the street wasn't there it wasn't in the driveway it wasn't on the street and I see a body laying there and I'm thinking I'm thinking the worst the absolute worst like she either just got home or she was just getting in her car and somebody like carjacked her and knocked her out or even worse and um, I pulled into my driveway real quick. I always have a camera on me. So I grabbed my camera off the console, turned it on, because if the police were going to be involved, I wanted to have video of what I saw walking up to her. And as soon as I got out of the car, I could see her waving her arms at me and, and yelling for help. And I'm like, why... Well, first of all, she's alive, thank God. Second, why didn't this delivery driver outside the truck see her? I didn't know what was going on, but she was alive and yelling for help. So I just set my camera down on the bumper of my car and took off running across the street as fast as I could in heels. And um, I, I asked her if she's all right. And she said, yes, yeah, she's okay. She just fell. She um, just had knee surgery, so she had big sutured scar across her knee, and she said she can't bend her knee, and she fell trying to get into the house. And I was like, I'll help you up, but do you think you're okay? I don't want to move you if something else is broken. And she said, no, I'm okay. I just, I can't bend my knee. I can't get up. So I said, well, let me pick you up. And I started to pick her up, and then she's trying to bend her knee and help. And I was like, no, no, trust me. I am three times your size. I can pick you up without you using your legs. Just let me pick you up. Don't use your legs. So I picked her up, stood her up, and got her shoes. She lost her shoes. I slid her shoes over next to her so she could slip her feet back in them. And... um she just said, help me get into the house. So I held the door open and helped her get into the house. I said, do you want me to come in and, you know, help you to a chair or something? And she said, no, no. And she walked like th three or four feet and sat down on a kitchen chair and just put her head down. I said, are you sure you're okay? She said, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for helping me. She said, I'm fine. I, I'm just going to sit here for a while. And um, she has my phone number. So I told her, I said, call me if you need any help um, don't don't try to do something you can't do I'll try to help you but uh, it scared the living crap out of me I mean, my heart was pumping and the video that I got like I said I just set it down on the bumper and took off running it's kinda hard to see because of the distance that I had to go but I got a little something to show you know just Neighbors being neighbors, you know, just be good to everybody. This is ridiculous what's happening in this world. But, um, here's that video.
God, she was okay, and nothing, nothing really bad happened, like, was in my mind, because I was thinking the worst, but thank God everything is okay. Just be good to everybody, people. Come on, it's not that hard. Bye.